one other thing that can happen is sometimes the rectifiers, the 12AL7, that's these t the smallest tubes in the unit, these guys, these are the rectifiers that take the AC signal and turn it into DC to uh, drive the side chain. Sometimes they can get leaky or wonky or weird. And we have an example right here. See this meter, there's no songs coming into this unit, but the meter is jiggling a little bit. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, that tells me that maybe that 12AL5 is having some issues. So, hit it carefully. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim out this trim pot here. So that guy can also, let's look at this, uh, this one here. If you have a discrepancy between compress and limit, okay, that one's good. Compress, limit, that one's good. Well, of course, because these have all been calibrated. If you have a difference between the reading of compress and limit, you can use your little tweaker and adjust that trim pot there. Um, let's see. I think this diode's misbehaving here. So let's trim it. Again, it's really a lot safer if you use one of these plastic tweakers so you don't short something out with a metal screwdriver. But... I turned it a little bit and it stopped shaking. Yeah, that's cool. Now I could also go in here, let me find it. Let's uh, trim that down to zero. So there I'm at zero. Not much difference there. Yeah, I think I'd, we just had a bad adjustment on that, on that compressed limit um, adjuster there, so. I'd say that's good to go, but those are some things you can do at home or in your studio without a very complicated measurement system. Uh, other than that, go hit up the service department. If you need some real help, go to the web form at manly.com, fill in the service form, and then my team will help you out with if you've got something worse wrong than that. Anyway, have a good day. Enjoy your manly variable mu.